purpose of dream uh, mission at present? Uh, see, like I said, like you all know also, I just recently joined. So, and uh, after joining, I have put my thoughts together and what are the initiatives that are in. There is a mission which the dream uh, mission itself has propagated. One is prevention, one is rehabilitation and the other is awareness. So it's important that uh, after going through this uh, issue, I've realized that it is a very complex problem. It is It cannot be addressed to only one aspect. I mean, we are saying that Police should work more. Yes, definitely. Police should work more to prevent AO and arrest these smugglers. But it doesn't end there. There are other issues also. Like for example, the other day we were does this. Like you heard Bari, just uh, president of the Users Foundation, said that this is this is a very complex issue. Many of the users also uh, ailed with HIV and other diseases, which society also will. It has its issues in society so it is a complex program uh, problem but these are small initiatives we thought we should start off with and address it from various angles and this is one of the initiatives it's a major issue right now that the state is facing and hence we've seen like uh, those who need uh, rehab uh, rehabilitation <coughs> are forced to go outside of the state and we've recently seen the news about how they were allegedly harassed so is there the, a high time for government to immediately come up with more rehab centers and which are not too expensive because it's unaffordable it's expensive i totally agree with you uh, uh, recently i went to maupuram uh, where where we had a, uh, the manba foundation had organized a health camp so after the health camp, they invited me to you know, to address to to see these uh, these some of the our youths who are into this uh, uh, social um, problem that we are having. So I met a few of them and I encouraged them to come for detox and rehab. The m the first thing that they said, if it is free, they are ready to come. So then I realized because I didn't understand this issue. Then I realized. Then we did a review. And we realize that we have very few rehabilitation centers in the, in the area. Six of them are with the government, and but the rest are private institutions. And each institute institution uh, charges around eight thousand to fifteen thousand per month. That is a, a very critical problem for particularly for our youth. Realizing this issue, recently I had a meeting with the deputy commissioners of six districts which are hotspots at the moment and I've appealed to the deputy commissioners to kindly partner with, uh, uh, take it up with the um, uh, influential businessmen or ho private hospitals within, the, uh, within the, the, their districts to encourage them to initiate um, uh, new uh, rehab centers. The government also keen that uh, pub, uh, NGOs or private uh, uh, partners come up uh, and uh, to establish, uh, to open up rehab centers, which the government also will support. So at the moment, yes, you're right, this is an issue. We are uh, critically uh, short of you. I'm in the process of writing individually to all the uh, deputy commissioners to uh, go ahead to uh, seek support from, the, from their district from influential businessmen and uh, NG, uh, NGOs or private or well-meaning individuals, you know, as part of the CSR, Community Service uh, Social Responsibility, that they can give something and we can uh, go ahead. It is not a uh, short-term solution, you know, it will take some time, but let's hope we start off, we have to start somewhere. So can you tell uh, why you chose the missionaries of charity, Shandi Bhavan, uh, for this initiative? with the drug users no the reason was you see a few days ago a few weeks ago rather i met sister they had, she had come to social welfare and we were just discussing and i just told her about my new role then she told me that every day 50 or people come here who are most of them may be users was, uh, who are uh, coming here for free lunch so i thought why not if i can get the opportunity to come and meet them and so i requested sister she was very kind enough to allow us to come here so I with that uh, in mind I brought in the counselors to, uh, to speak about rehabilitation about detoxification and but I also thought that if I bring if once a person is rehabilitated or 
he, he is ready to change. But what next? Because the chances of relapse are very high in, in drug abuse. In substance abuse, chances are very high of relapse unless he finds another way out. So, which is why I brought uh, vocational uh, departments, you know, uh, um, professionals like ITI, Skill Development, BITS, and many uh, have joined so that there, it is seamless, you know, after after detoxification, then you have your rehabilitation, and after rehabilitation, or side by side with the rehabilitation, skills could be taught also. So this was an opportunity, it was just, it is not something special that I came here, it's just that I came to know that these children used to come here, so I took the opportunity to address them. Coming to treatment, uh, will you be taking up with the government to include MHIS uh, in the system of treating? Uh, yes, the MHIS is already there. In fact, we are. I'm um, putting up suggestions to you that maybe, maybe a special card, special card for such uh, substance abuses, uh, abusing uh, children who are into this problem. They may be given a special card, special uh, uh, priority for, for them because uh, it is a difficult problem. It is a difficult issue. Uh, we are. Uh, I will be taking an opportunity to come. So, what is the next on the anti-initiative, anti-narcotics initiative, as far as the policing is concerned? That I will not be able to um, comment on you. We are in discussion with them, and they are. It is their prerogative. I mean, but we are, I, and I believe they are also uh, initiating a new uh, uh, task force in uh, in um, to strengthen the anti narcotics task force and also like uh, you've heard the government also mentioned we are planning to uh, put two scanners one in Ratachera and one in Burnihat and we also uh, including dogs we will be in the, we are in the process of procuring dog sniffer dogs also to assist these operations um, in this uh, rehabilitation center that what we have how many can accommodate uh, it depends, you know, maximum I think 30 to 40 um, uh, I mean, beds. all the centre, no, do you no, have any... I, I really don't have that figure at the moment, but there are 30, 40 beds. But the problem is a very complex issue, it's not like um, hospitals, you know, your treatment. They, they generally know when the patient will leave, how many beds will be free. The problem is, like I said earlier, uh, treatment for... There are some persons who will be treated in one month. There are some persons who will treat it in two months. There are certain, there are certain uh, people who are, they take more than seven months, eight months to, to uh, treat. So it is a complex issue because there, then the beds are not free. Then there, uh, uh, the centers are not free. That is also an issue. So the moot point here is to increase the rehabilitation centers. So I'm writing to you. I will be speaking to well-meaning individuals also in the city and in the you and partner with uh, them and see if they can support if they can initiate something like that i will uh, ensure that government also supports them